defragmentation and fragmentation. Disk Defragmenter is a utility in Microsoft Windows designed to increase data access speed by rearranging related data files stored on a disk to occupy contiguous storage locations. The process is called disk defragmentation. Defragmenting a disk minimizes head travel, which reduces the time it takes to read files from and write files to the disk. A traditional mechanical hard disk drive contains a spinning platter on which the data is stored and a head that moves to and fro in order to access data from the platter. So we can roughly say that the performance speed depends on how fast the platter spins and how efficiently the head can access the data. If all the data is stored in one contiguous location, then the head has to move very little to access it and the time taken to access the data will be much less. But if the data is stored in chunks, at different locations on the platter, the head has to access all those locations which will take more time. Defragmentation works on efficiently storing related data close together so that the hard drive doesn't have to work more to access data. To understand the need for defragmentation, we must understand what is fragmentation and the cause of fragmentation. When you set up a computer for the first time, with an empty hard drive, there is enough space for all the data to be placed in close proximity to each other. So, all the data gets placed on the hard drive in a contiguous location and they are not scattered to different locations all over the platter. Suppose we install three more programs one by one. As there is enough contiguous free space available on the disk drive, the data files of each of these programs are stored close to each other. When you run one of the programs, the computer will run quicker. Since stored data is contiguous, the head of the hard drive doesn't have to move much to access those locations. Now, as time passes, many more files are written or deleted to the disk, as per the requirement. This results in lowering available, contiguous free space on the disk. Here we can see that free space is widely scattered throughout the hard drive in small chunks. If another program is installed, then the computer will not find a contiguous block of free memory to fit all its data close to each other. So, the computer will scatter the data of that program in smaller chunks and store it all over the hard drive. It may store some 50 megabytes of data here, some 10 megabytes here, some 20 megabytes there, some 90 megabytes there, and so on. Since all its data are scattered all over the disk, Accessing them will take more time and more work, which will degrade the performance speed. This is how and why fragmentation takes place on the hard drive. To overcome this fragmentation issue, we defragment the hard drive. In defragmentation, all the related data of a file, which are scattered all over the hard drive, are gathered and stored close together so that they are in the same physical location on the hard drive. Along with this, all the small chunks of free space are put together to make a big chunk of free space as efficiently as possible. After the defragmentation is complete, the computer will run faster and more efficiently. So in this, we can see the difference between fragmented drive and defragment drive. The defragment hard drive looks more efficient than the fragmented drive. Please note that, Defragmentation can be done only for traditional mechanical hard drives, because only they have moving parts in them. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, the defragmentation works on how efficiently related data is stored on the platter so that the head can access them within a minimum time span and minimum movement. Solid state drives also known as SSD, do not require defragmentation. They do not have any moving platter or head. The data in SSD, is stored in flash memory chips and can be accessed almost instantly without any delays. SSDs are around 100 times faster than traditional mechanical hard drives. So defragmenting SSDs is not effective but is a very bad idea. This is because, in the defragmentation process, lots of data is moved, removed, written, and rewritten so that related data can occupy contiguous locations on the drive. Unfortunately, SSDs come with a lifespan in terms of the program erase cycle. That means how many times the data can be written and erased before SSDs start becoming inefficient. So, defragmenting an SSD will heavily affect its life cycle. This is all the overview on fragmentation and defragmentation. Remember, 
A defragment mechanical hard drive is always efficient in performance compared to a fragmented one, and also remember that do not defragment an SSD. Thanks for your time and patience. Have a nice day.